Welcome back to Faculty Focus. After taking a break for the holidays, we are back to highlighting a different member of our amazing faculty each month. This month, we are highlighting Dr. Abhinav Mishra. Dr. Mishra is an Associate Professor of Food Microbiology and our Graduate Student Coordinator. As Graduate Student Coordinator, Dr. Mishra served as a great mentor and advisor to our graduate students, all while teaching a large amount of undergraduate and graduate level courses. Tune in this month as we talk about microbiology in our graduate program on Faculty Focus with Dr. Abhinav Mishra. My name is Dr. Abhinav Mishra and I am an associate professor and the graduate program coordinator in this department, a role that I have taken in the last semester. What is your academic background? So my academic background has been very interesting because uh, I did my undergraduate and master's degrees in India. Uh, in my undergraduate, I did Bachelor of Technology in Agricultural Engineering, uh, in which we learned different aspects of agriculture, which includes uh, developing different types of farm equipments, uh, learning about the irrigation practices and using water resources. We also learned uh, about food technology and, and food processing in, in that course. Then I was very much interested in food processing because I took more courses, more elective courses and my uh, undergraduate project on that topic, which led me to uh, do my master's in food process engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. Uh, most of that basically course and research was mostly related to food processing and food engineering. So I was an agricultural engineer and food engineer uh, till my master's degree. And then I took a course on food process modeling, uh, a course which actually changed my direction of, of my research and, and academic inter interest. So I became very much interested in using different uh, mathematical modeling approaches in the field of food science. And towards the end of my program, I got an opportunity to work with uh, some renowned uh, scientists at the University of Maryland who were looking for a PhD student who could work on developing mathematical models uh, related to food safety. So I joined, uh, the University of Maryland as, as a graduate student, I did uh, a project on predictive microbiology in leafy green safety. Uh, then I continued as a postdoc researcher at the same place uh, um, for about a year or so, where I worked on different other types of predictive models other than my PhD uh, project. I was fortunate enough to get a position at the University of Georgia, and I'm uh, I consider myself fortunate to to be in this position. Uh, basically, my research uh, since I've been at the University of Georgia, it has been mostly related to food safety, food microbiology, also some aspects of fermentation that I'm also interested in. So that's my brief background, what I what I have done and what I'm doing right now. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about your research and your role in the department, specifically the graduate coordinator. So my appointment in this department is uh, majorly research. I have 60% research appointment. I have 35% teaching and 5% service. Uh, in terms of my research, like I said previously that uh, most of my research revolves around food microbiology, uh, more specifically towards risk assessment and uh, predictive mi microbiology. I do some projects on food fermentations related to the fermentation of, of uh, alcoholic beverages. And sometimes I, I get a chance to work with the industry. So I work with process validations and similar types of projects that also help industry. In terms of my teaching, uh, I teach uh, graduate and undergraduate level courses. So I teach advanced food microbiology, which is a PhD level course. I also teach undergraduate uh, level courses on food fermentations and food safety programs. 
um i teach some other courses as well like i teach uh, one study abroad course uh, viticulture and enology in in the mediterranean region in which we teach undergraduate students about the viticulture and wine making practices uh, in the cortona region in in italy uh, it's a may master course we go there for about 3 weeks uh, it's one of my favorite courses that i teach i also teach first year odyssey seminar on on uh, fermentation cultures and histories uh, history in the world other than that i teach uh, two online mft courses as well on food fermentations and uh, food safety in terms of my service i serve as the graduate program coordinator uh i uh am on several advisory committees for the graduate ms and phd students i've been serving on the university council and the caes college faculty council from the last two years what does the graduate coordinator do in our department so a graduate coordinator actually works with the graduate affairs committee which has four other members other than the graduate coordinator uh the graduate coordinator is kind of their spokesperson but but it's the graduate affairs committee that 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 does all the task along with the graduate coordinator assistant who is morgan as well who does most of the hef- heavy lifting uh, in our department so uh the graduate program coordinator is basically responsible for overseeing and managing the academic um, aspects of the graduate program which includes Uh, our resident programs ms and phd as well as our online mft program so the graduate program coordinator actually it serves as the bridge between the department and the graduate school to make sure that we are following all their policies and recommendation so this graduate affairs committee plays a very crucial role in in uh, curriculum dev- curriculum development uh in the program evaluations uh through different types of um surveys and ensuring compliance with the academic standards in the department uh we also collaborate with uh, faculty in the department to enhance the quality of uh, our education uh we advise students on different types of academic matters which includes right from their uh course selection to finally uh issues associated with their candidacy exam with their defense different types of seminars uh so basically we we take care of all the processes from admission to their graduation we lead efforts to improve the program effectiveness and we monitor the student progress through different uh, mechanisms and we address if there are any issues uh, that may arise during this process in addition to that we also participate in strategic planning to align the program with the institution's goal and we promote a positive learning environment for um, all our graduate students what are some of the ways the department helps you accomplish your research and your research goals and your goals as the graduate coordinator uh so department helps in a great way basically uh first as a research faculty uh, the department supports me in achieving both my research and administrative goals through various means uh firstly they provide resources such as uh, the great research facil- facilities that we have inside and outside of the department uh, we have great set of equipment uh, we have lot of internal and external funding opportunities to facilitate my research endeavors to support my operating costs my student salaries and so on in addition to that the department uh, provides uh, an environment for collaborative research uh, encouraging interdisciplinary collaboration within and outside of the department and knowledge sharing um, among faculty and students in fact uh, i'm proud to say that uga is the largest food safety faculty group in the United States. 
On the administrative side, uh, the department assists in implementing effective policies and procedures for the graduate program. Uh, they allocate administrative support to handle tasks like uh, admission of students um, throughout the year, student advising and program logistics, uh, regular communication channels and meetings with the departmental leadership ensure that we align with the goals and we have effic efficient coordination uh, with the faculty and students. Overall, uh, I believe that department supports uh, uh, basically my, my capacity to excel both uh, in my role as, as a research faculty as well as a graduate program coordinator. Thank you.